Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm doing a video talking about YouTube reviewers and early releases and their connection to each other. Uh, a lot of you guys know that certain websites such as kicksoul.com, soulland.com, and even, or when they were doing it, Air Randy send out their shoes to YouTube reviewers in order to promote their website so they can gain further business from the YouTube community. Uh, there's quite a few people that are doing this right now. Um, Joe Venito, he gets supplied from Kixel. Um, Humpty Dumpty gets supplied from Soul Land. And I forget, there's another person that's starting to get a new website. I think it was... Um, the sneaker shop or I'm not sure of the actual name but what I want to talk about is do you agree with the website sending people free shoes even when they may not be 100% authentic and they use horrible quality materials in order to promote their site the people that get the shoes they have no problem doing it because for one they get free shoes two they gain more notoriety on YouTube and three well, they gain more notoriety, they get more subscribers, they get paid more for all the views, and they get free shoes, which is basically the conclusion of it. I want to know if you guys agree with it, since a lot of these sites are actually selling fakes, and therefore the YouTube reviewer is duping their cut or duping the YouTube community into going to this site. They're saying, hey, this, this site's got great quality it's got a uh, fast service when they get the shoes for free they get the best pair that's available from the website to trick the YouTube community into buying the early release a lot of people that have bought early releases say to or tend to agree that they send the best pair to the reviewer to trick the buyer into thinking every pair is that nice when in fact it actually isn't um, I actually purchased one early release in my whole life, and that was the Olympic 7 from Soul Land. Um, I still have pictures of the shoe from when I got it, which you guys will not believe how crappy the shoes were sent to me. It looked like they got chewed up by a dog and spit out by a cat. Let's just leave it at that. I'll probably make a video showing the pictures of the shoe that I got. I ended up returning them because... I had a store credit with them. I sold them some of my shoes. They paid me. But I want to know what do you guys think about early releases going to YouTube reviewers and the YouTube reviewers tricking people into going to the site to buy the shoe when most of the people that buy from the sites tend not to be happy. All right, guys. That's all I have to say in the video. Please leave a comment if you'd like. Again, nothing wrong with stating your opinion. Um, you know, keep it civil and take care. Thanks.